few big ones in here. Um, I have this whole world that was set up for, but I guess didn't load properly. Anyways, the reason I'm, I'm in scrap mechanic today is I want to show you guys the new, um, so the new, um, cubic quantum, um, the new cubic quantum products. So, um, in case I haven't shown it already, here's the sky pivot. The sky pivot is used for basically anchoring something in the sky. Now this doesn't this didn't actually work out the way. Well, actually, yeah, it it, it did. A good idea is to actually connect the switch to the freeze block. But yeah, as you can see, it rotates. I mean, it doesn't rotate, it just stays in the air. Now, it's not. This doesn't work the best. This is kind of a failed product. There's also one without the shell. Um, next we have the Cubic Quantum Space Division Rover Wheel. This is a simple rover wheel, and basically you would connect a smart engine from the mod pack to these bearings, and that would, and that would be your suspension. Then, um, we have the rotation, the rotational suspension. It is a bit glitchy when spawning in, but when you have it attached to something, and I only have this side, so it's kind of weird. But it can kind of create some phantom forces sometimes um, when spawning it in for the first time, but it does work like any other suspension, except it's just rotational. Next, we have some of my favorite ones. Go, go away! No, don't. I don't want you. We have. The cubic quantum micro joint. This is a two way joint and it was originally designed for. Uh, let me. It was designed for this, which would be a self building monorail. And these would be like the on uh, steering and rotation. Basically, on. Um, I recent I recently uh, um, acquired a blueprint editing tool that allowed me to create stuff like this. This is usually not possible, but I made it using that tool. Now I have something very similar to it, and this is the tri joint. And the tri joint is. I believe the very first single block ball joint. At least it's similar to a ball joint. This is a simple punching bag setup. Okay. Um. The hammer is a bit strong for this. But yeah, 
actually have a punching bag now. And it's really good for like trailers and punching bags and stuff. And if you have a really high-end computer, um, I'm going to grab this military Humvee, courtesy of Con Gaming. Really good scrap mechanic YouTuber. Go check him out. Yeah, maybe if you, and maybe if you, like, he, he just makes really good content. Um, also check out Scrap Man. Um, he does stuff with Khan a lot as well, and he's also a really good Scrap Mechanic YouTuber. But anyway, so, the reason I grabbed this was, if I grab the tri joint to spawn in a bunch of these. Now the cool thing is, uh, you do actually have to remove the- if you want to attach multiple of these together, you do actually have to remove the bearing. That white bearing. Here, I'm just going to put this on the left. Yeah, you can just make a little chain. Now the only reason it's facing downwards is because of this specific vehicle. But let's let, let's make a balloon. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a helium container. Now the beefier your computer is, um, the longer a chain you can make. And also once Scrap Mechanic gets a physics update. Okay. And I have a little balloon attached to the back. Okay. That ended well. Yeah, it's a balloon. This is gonna float. That is buoyant. <laughs> now I just have the chain. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the tri joint is basic is one of my favorite creations. Um, but I think that's it. Um, but I do have some other creations. Um, I think a creation has been, oh yeah, the hover gun. That one kind of failed. So I want to show that one. 
Um, I also made this cool hypercar. Now, it has thrusters in the back. The taillights are actually thrusters. Um, and it has these pretty sick, um, this pretty sick turn, turn signal in the back too. And th that was actually inspired by my, um, dad's taillights. So yeah, for his opening the door. It's not the best, but it works. Five is lights. And watch this. When I back up, that little red light in the back actually turns on. Now this does this isn't that good for a regular map because like and I've actually made some tiles. Um I can't show them here because this isn't well I made a zero G um ball dome based off of the based off of multiplayer Monday on um, like <laughs> multiplayer Monday on um, Ender's game thing, um, as well as 3D Bombchon, and, um, and it was, cr and I couldn't find their tile anywhere on the workshop, so I just had to make my own, and so I used it. Then I also made a um, perfectly flat tile, um, that, and its main purpose was, um, f and its main purpose is for hypercars to dr drive on. Now, that, that spoiler in the back, it is actually functioning. It doesn't just, it just doesn't work the best. But anyways, um, is that it? Oh yeah, and here's here's a completely black light. This is actually on right now. See, it is on. That's regular black, but here's pure black. But yeah, I think that is it for. I think that's it for today. Oh, there's also this thing. It's a bearing car. Yes, those are solid bearings that are actually being used as wheels. And if you didn't know, bearings aren't usually solid. Now this was also made using the blueprint tool. And, yeah, if I search bearing, you get this, which is literally a single bearing. Now, it does actually have a regular bearing on it. And, yeah, the hitbox is a bit weird. Whee! Goodbye! Guys, that'll be it for uh, today.